Recently, the Buffalo Zoo received a grant from the Association of Zoos and Aquariums to address a growing concern among scientists around the world, the destruction of wild amphibian populations by a deadly fungus called Batrachochytrium dendrobotitis, or BD. The zoo is teaming with the Roger Torrey Peterson Institute, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, and the University at Buffalo to come up with a new way to research amphibian declines due to amphibian chytrid fungus by using citizen scientists to collect data in the field. The effort began on February 27th and 28th, 2010, with a two-day training session at the Buffalo Zoo for volunteer citizen scientists, most of them college students. There has not been a whole lot of work done in New York State, really, I think scientists in every state wish they could do their states, but you know, we've got to start somewhere. So you are the start. You are the start of systematically starting to test for amphibian chytrid fungus here. Um, and so I, I hope that's exciting for you, that you actually get to be doing the field work, <coughs> the field work that Penny did, all that. Now you guys get to be on the front lines of trying to do something about amphibian chytrid fungus. And, so in New York State... <laughs> Participants were quizzed on what they already knew about frogs and salamanders and amphibian chytrid fungus. <laughs> you can both. Uh, sexually mature. And you'll see these guys, you've probably seen these Fs. I mean, they're really abundant, and if you're out on this, usually... You're they learned about the biodiversity, life cycles, and habitats of western New York's amphibians. Also obligate seasonal pool breeders. Spectacular salamanders, they're huge. They get to be maybe eight, eight and a half inches long, or even a little bit longer and they're covered with bright yellow spots. I mean, they're impossible to miss, right? These guys all breed in the spring, and we probably have a good chance of seeing these uh, on Grand Island. There are quite a few of them on Grand Island. Uh, and how to identify frogs by their songs. Find as many as possible. They have a very distinctive song. Um, they often call in the same habitats as the peepers. We even got a peek at the zoo's cutting-edge captive rearing program for eastern hellbenders, North America's largest salamander species and a species in decline. <laughs> Then we heard from Ken Robley, the New York State wildlife biologist who selected the sites to investigate for this pilot study. Is the uh, eastern hellbender in the Allegheny River. We did get some sampling done there last fall. But in terms of the rest of the state, uh, the department hasn't done any sampling uh, statewide. So you were. Participants had fun learning to work as a team. And learn how to use GPS and weather recording units in the field. And how to stay warm. Back and forth. Correct protocols for swabbing frogs and salamanders were modeled and practiced in preparation for a day later in early spring when we hope to find some amphibians and do the real thing in the field. Slippery, they're not, they're going to want to get away. Um, then each team will visit their western New York study sites, capture, swab, and release frogs and salamanders in hopes of finding out whether or not amphibian chytrid fungus is present crucial data to the wildlife biologists working to conserve and protect 
our native amphibian populations.